All right, guys. Well, you've seen the first two videos of what this fish pipe uh, that I was using went through. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and attach a little bit more of the fish pipe and get it back out there. Because I did notice since it did stay out there for that period of time, there was still a little bit of the fish bite left. So that's telling me one of two things. One is that the bait fish are being spooked off more because the big fish are there. So if the big fish are there, then it should be but just a matter of time before we actually get a hookup and we catch it on film. So, like I said, you know, you got to pay attention to the little things. And even if it's the little baits that are messing you up, they're telling you a story of what's happening down there without you actually being down there. So let's see if what I'm saying is true. Yeah. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got a, got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. So in the first two videos they were on the bait within seconds we're already going on 20 seconds now of it being on the bottom and I've yet to see a perch hmm that's got me wondering like I said you know that's my theory oh, hey there's a drum there's a drum right there I told you <laughs> I told you yes let's see what he does I mean like I said I, I had a few good hits that day but I need to know what happened too so yeah buddy Alright, so one of the other things I wanted to point out is, yes, there are no bait fish there. We had the one drum sighting, but didn't hook up. Now, here's the second thing I want to point out. You see the current? The current has picked up dramatically from the other two videos where there was hardly any, any current at all. So, I was thinking maybe the current has something to do with the perch not being there, but at the same time, as soon as I saw the drum there, I knew why the perch weren't there. Because even then, on the other videos, with the current still there, the perch were still there. They were battling the current, going up current, and just attacking everything along the way. So, yep, you know, just keep watching it. But I do want to point out that we're gonna run the video on this one too even if nothing hooks up because we got a good current and no bait fish so we can test the theory whether people say that the current rubs the fish bites off well let's see if it actually happens and obviously like i said i um ran the cameras as long as they'll go and normally oop, duh, i think that was a whiting but you know i run them as long as I can and putting the night light on is probably going to drain the battery faster but we'll see what we can get on here in the meantime.
All right, guys. Thank you, everybody, for wishing me a happy birthday and the kind words that y'all put on the YouTube channel. I'm really, really blessed and very, very grateful for y'all cheering me up and stuff like that. I'm trying to re respond to all of them, but it was quite a bit, and also, too, my Facebook blew up as well, so doing the best I can, but I will get to your message. Trust me, I don't like to leave anybody's message unanswered. So thank you again, guys, and we got more videos. We're still hard at it. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be fishing about three to five days a week as much as I can, especially since it's kind of slowing down for the season since so many people are hunting now instead of just fishing. So we are gonna keep going it. Yes, got a lot of fish, and that drum was nice, hot, oh, nice. So it's coming.